It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for season 11 of The Walking Dead. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at an interview that Norman Reedus, who plays Daryl Dixon, did with comicbook.com where he was talking about the final season of The Walking Dead, which is season 11. Now they talked about a lot of stuff, but there was one thing that they talked about, which I think reveals or confirms the storyline that we're gonna see in season 11A and B of the final season. We're gonna go through what Norman Reedus said and I'm gonna make some speculations in terms of when one storyline is gonna end and the other is gonna start. So stay tuned, we'll be right back to break this down. Alright, as always, before we jump into this, if you're not a subscriber and enjoy the content by the end, consider subscribing to join our community, share and smash the like button and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. Let's dive right in. So, as I said, Norman Reedus was talking about the final season of The Walking Dead on comicbook.com with Brandon Davis and here is what he said when asked about where the storyline is going and whether he knows about the ending like the final final end of the walking dead although he didn't say anything about whether he knows how the walking dead's gonna end and how he feels about it which is understandable he did say something that was interesting he said that the storyline in the first half of season 11 is gonna focus more on maggie's story and it's gonna dive into the group after her which is obviously the reapers and then he said when they get to the second half, it's like they do a complete 180. And he compared where they're going to end up in the second half of the season to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. So obviously this confirms that the first half is going to focus more on the Reapers and Maggie's story. Because obviously those two stories are intertwined. And then when we get to the second half, it'll focus more on the Commonwealth and... Obviously, when he said Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, he was comparing the Commonwealth story to that story. Which makes sense because if you look at where The Walking Dead is right now, looking at Commonwealth is like looking at Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. So it makes a lot of sense. Now, one thing I did want to mention is that we still don't know exactly how much of Commonwealth we're going to see in the first half. But here's my speculations. I think the first half of the season is going to focus on the Reapers and it's probably going to end with a battle with the Reapers where they will be defeated. Now that might spill over into the first episode of season 11B, which is the second half, but I don't think it'll go beyond that, which lines up with what Norman Reedus said about the first and second half. But when it comes to the Commonwealth storyline, I think that the first half is definitely going to have a lot of comic storylines coming to the TV show. We've seen a lot of that already in the teasers and trailers that they've released. We know we're gonna see Lance Hornsby, who's the Commonwealth's bookkeeper. We're gonna see Governor Pamela Milton, the leader of Commonwealth. We're gonna see the Commonwealth's military commander, Mercer. We're gonna see inside the Commonwealth. We're gonna see Stephanie. Although we haven't seen an image of her or seen her in a teaser, we know she'll show up soon enough. We're gonna get the reunion, Wall of Missing People storyline. So there's gonna be a lot of the Commonwealth introduction in the first half. But here's where I think the Commonwealth story in the first half is gonna end. I think the Commonwealth story in the first half is gonna end with the Commonwealth agreeing to follow the survivors, namely Eugene, Yumiko, Princess, and Ezekiel, back to Alexandria to see the situation there and to possibly start working together, similar to the Commonwealth storyline in the comic book. Now, with that said, I do think that they are gonna remix the Commonwealth storyline in a major way. There's two big hints at that, which we're gonna talk about on a separate video. But as far as this video is concerned, I definitely think that at least for the first half of the season, they are gonna follow the comic storyline. When it gets to the second half, and maybe by the end of this first half even, we're gonna see a lot more major differences in terms of what they're doing with the Commonwealth. 
like I said, I'll cover that on a separate video, but as far as where I think the story of the Commonwealth is gonna end, it'll end with the survivors and some Commonwealth officials and probably some soldiers heading back to Alexandria to assess the situation there to see what's going on and whether they can work together. That's pretty much everything that I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to share and smash the like button. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.